Hey guys and welcome to Petrofed. Welcome to Porta Banus in Spain. It's Ironman time. I'm here to compete in Ironman 70.3 Marbella. We landed and arrived at the hotel only about 40 minutes ago. I've got a briefing in 15 minutes, then I'm going to sign on. This video is just tracking my progress through what I think is going to be a pretty emotional but also very epic weekend. But through there is registration, merchandise and my briefing. I can't believe this weekend is finally here. So this is Pete doing his registration for Iron Man. Uh, I don't think in 20, how many of them years, four years, I've ever seen him quite as nervous as he is right now. Uh, it's kind of all a bit real, so um, here we are, and uh, let's give it a go. I'm sure he's going to smash it. I have signed on. It's there's no turning back now. <laughs> so I think we need to go in the merch shop and buy lots of merch, but it's happening. It's real. Beautiful people, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Ironman 70.3 Marbella. Welcome to the European Tri Club Championship. Well, that's me signed on, registration done. Uh, there's a lot to this whole Ironman thing. Luckily, I was sat next to some lovely lady who'd done like 13 half Ironman. Claire, big shout out to Claire if you ever get to watch this. And she was so friendly and so helpful and really put me at rest. My level of anxiety and, and um, uh, butterflies is quite high right now. I don't think, in fact, it's ever been higher. Um, but all will be good tomorrow. Um, so that basically is the merchandise and registration area. So we've done that. I've bought some very important merch. I've got some uh, Iron Man bottles, uh, a nice peak cap to wear on the run and a new t-shirt with my name on it. So <laughs> that's the finish on Sunday, but I've come down to take a look at the sea because the swim is by far and away the thing I'm most concerned about. Basically the muster area for the swimming is just there. So you line up in the kind of approximate finish time you think you're gonna do. So I'm gonna, yeah, I'll, I'm gonna go in the kind of 45 minutes to 50 minutes group. You've only got an hour. If you don't do it in an hour, you're disqualified. And then we go in the water here and then there's the boys mark for the, the Marker there, you go round, the, round that to the right hand side, all the way over there. Two markers round to the left of each of those, all the way over there. And then back onto the beach over there. And then the transition from swim to bike is over in those tents. So yeah, it's um, whew, a bit nervous to tell you what, this sand's really, really hot. I'm gonna go in now and um, chill out. I think I'm gonna come down in the morning and have a swim um, because uh, I need to just put my mind at rest, but in the morning, hopefully, the swim, the sea temperature will be much more like uh, it, it is, and the sea state will be much more like it is going to be uh, on Sunday morning. But yeah, <sighs> quite nervous actually. Good morning. It's Saturday morning. We're up, not too bright, but he's had a lovely night's sleep. It's about half past eight in the morning. We are off to the beach for a swim. Even Mrs. Greaves is going to go in, aren't you, mate? Yeah. <laughs> Moral support. Moral support. So yes, I'm going to put, I have to hold the camera this way because the sun. Um, yeah, so really good night's sleep. Today's trying to be as relaxed as I can, but also there's quite a few things I need to get done. Number one, I just want to have a check swim in the sea in my wetsuit. I haven't done any sea swimming at all in my training. So <laughs> talk about leaving it till the last minute. And then I need to get my bike unpacked from the box. And then actually I've got a peddler, Graham, who is doing the event today and we're going to hopefully meet up um, when we go and rack the bikes a bit later. And he lives out here, I think, and has a car. So we're going to go and do a, we're actually going to go and recce the, uh, the, the ride, the bike route, which is a really, really useful thing because it's quite hilly. It'll be nice to know when, when the hills are coming and how bad they are and so on. So that's the plan today. And then obviously I have to come and rack my bike and put all my bags away and all that kind of stuff. But first up, an early morning sea swim. The plan is I'm just gonna swim out to one of those boys, come back and just, just see how I get on really. Have fun. So 
really good thing for him to be doing this. Really helps settle his nerves. Or not. Uh, for tomorrow. It's a really beautiful morning. Sun's up and feeling quite warm already. So there he goes. Well, that could have gone better. <laughs> um, that's not the prep I wanted, really. I really struggle when I put my face in the water to breathe out, and that kind of obviously then starts to make you panic, and you can't really do crawl. So on the way out to that first buoy, I'd do like four strokes, and then I'd be freaking out. So a bit of breaststroke, and then just had a word with myself and got a bit more calm, and swam up to one of the boys over there. I've done nearly 1,500 meters, but just need to calm down because if I, no, if I don't calm down, I won't do it. And, and that was, right now I'm really, really anxious. That's not, that's not what I expected. I know I can do the distance. I've done the distance in training in a pool. I know I can do that. Actually, the good positive was the buoyancy. The wetsuit helped me a lot. Um, it's a bit like swimming with a, a pool buoy, a float between your legs. So that was good. So when I was crawling, it felt good and it felt quite quick. I just need to keep my head and just calm down. As soon as I put my face in the water, it's like a reflex means I can't breathe out. So I was literally sh shouting like Rah! in the water. Anyway, I'm gonna get some breakfast. Not good. So I've had my breakfast. Uh, this is our room, by the way, very nice. But in that box is my bike. So Tracy's gone down to kind of have a chill by the pool. I'm gonna get my bike out and hope it's in one piece and put it together and then go out for a bit of a check ride. But with a bit of luck, it traveled well. I think it looks all right, <laughs> he says, hopefully. Whew. Right then, check ride done. Um, bike's fine, uh, it's um, set up just as it was when I left home. So all the gears are working okay, tire pressures are okay, no squeaks and rattles, saddles back at the right height. So, so far that, that's good. Um, I guess one of the things I wanted to do about this video is I'm not gonna be able to film that much of the actual race tomorrow because we're not allowed GoPros on course. And to be frank, I've got enough to worry about and concentrate on without thinking about making a YouTube video. But Tracy will have the camera and she's gonna do her best to get a little bit of action shots and behind the scenes stuff. But I kind of wanted to just take you behind the scenes for this weekend really. Um, and so far, I'll admit it's, it's so far it's quite overwhelming. Um, the first, Iron Man I've ever done. Um, everyone's so friendly. All there's some people here that have done, you know, 10, 20 Iron Mans and they're all super friendly and if you want to ask them advice they'll they'll um, you know share their experience with you, which is amazing. Uh, and they're all very supportive. And that's all very well and good, but that, that they're not gonna be with me on the swim tomorrow and, and I'm still I've still got that in my head and I can't get it out and I'm really, really stressed about it. Um, and I don't normally get stressed. The only time I can remember feeling like this was I used to compete in uh, eventing, uh, a horse uh, cross country. So we did dressage uh, cross country or dressage show jumping cross country. <clears throat> and when you walk a big cross country course and there's big scary fences, I did long leap once. And I can remember I went very quiet and very, very, very worried. And, and I feel just like that now. Um, and the swim this morning, I've talked to Matt, my coach, and he's kind of um, given me some, some advice just to calm down and and just take it easy and long strokes and all that. And I know all of that, I just need to put it into practice tomorrow, otherwise I'm gonna have a nightmare. Um, so, uh, next thing is, it's quite complicated this whole triathlon thing. I need to pack up and number all my bags. So I'll quickly, time to rack the bike. It sure is. <laughs> she's all there, she's all ready. So yeah, time to go down, uh, rack the bike, drop off my bags, which my able assistant is carrying for me. Um, and then meet up with Graham and then we'll go out and recce the course. But yes, I have been out on a check ride and just I checked where my bike was going to go uh, and where my hooks were and stuff. So I kind of know in my head, which is quite good. So yes, 
drop the bike off and then I can go back to the hotel. Early dinner, early bed, lots of sleep. Early morning. Early morning. And yeah, what can possibly go wrong? Okay. So, got some, some uh, strange rules. Even when it's not race day, to go into transition, I've got to wear my helmet strapped up. So yes, I'm going to drop my bike off and then I'll we'll chill out, hopefully. See you. <laughs> See you in a bit. Well, there she is, all racked up, ready to go. Last thing, just need to drop these two bags off at the end. So I am, I mean, the entrance transition all the way down there, entrance to the bike course is just there. So I'm actually not having to push my bike a long way. So that's quite good, I think. But yeah, so next time I see her, I'll be wet, dripping wet in a wetsuit and uh, about to head out onto a very hilly 56 miles. So here's the YouTuber. Uh, being filmed by an amateur. I'm uh, turning back now. No, crack on. Uh, and now he gets his timing chip. Uh, so we can pick him up on the app uh, tomorrow. Uh, which should be good. So yeah, that's it. No turning back now. Stop shooting your pants. Now then everyone, this is Graham. Hi, Welcome everyone. to the channel. A peddler who lives in Spain, just up the road. Um, and when I announced I was doing Iron Man, reached down and said, I'm doing it too. And then yesterday he said, I'll see you on the beach uh, for the swim. And then said, actually, after I'm racking my bike, I'm gonna take a drive out and go and view the bike course. And as I don't have a car with me, I was like, oh, I'll be amazing. So we got the Garmin going, um, that's what the beeps are. And uh, we're gonna go and have a bit of a ride out. It's currently 28 degrees. Is it 28 or 26? 26. 26. Um, but apparently, so you did it last year. I did last year. <laughs> and the bike, course, the bike course is a bit gnarly, apparently. Even a guy to me this morning went, This is your first Iron Man. You knew it was a very hilly course, you know. We were doing it, you're okay. I was like, Oh, God, that's not what I need to Anyway, it's meant to be a very beautiful bike course as well. So let's take a ride out and see what it looks like. Now you won't be able to get any idea of uh, gradient, but this is a very long drag out of Marbella. <laughs> We've already gone along a bit of main dual carriageway, but they, they close off the hard shoulder effectively. But this, this is a very big long drag. The flip side is we've got to come down this on the way back. So the run in for the last, I don't know, 15, 20 K should be very, very quick, which is a bit scary really. Um, but yes, this is, um, this is chewy. Yeah, look at this road. I mean, cycling up it tomorrow is going to be cool, but I have to say, I'd really quite like to have the Porsche out here because driving around it would be wicked as well. Look at that. Wow. Oh man, that is just epic. Okay, back at the, the bike racks. Um, that was very, very useful. Massive thanks to Graham for the invite and I'll see him on the beach in the morning. But yeah, just to be able to see the bike course, to be able to have it in my head now, where the challenging bits are. Um, let's face it, it's called an Ironman for a reason, right? There's, there's nothing easy about any of the bits that we're gonna do tomorrow. The swim, I am mildly worried about. Mildly, no, terrified about. The bike, it's a very lumpy course, but I'm, I'm strong on the bike. So um, I know that that bike course is fine for me. Um, it's very quick as well. So that should play into my strength. I, I like going quick on my bike. Um, and uh, climbs, they're, 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 I think the one out of my bay is the worst one. That's, that's quite, quite a long drag. But yeah, so that should be good. And then there's a nice long descent down into my bay and long flat bits to kind of just get the legs ready, try and get the laxic out of them for, uh, for the run. And then the run I wrecked this morning, that's pretty flat to be honest, but that's just gonna be about survival basically. But now head back, get to my room, get some rest, uh, get a really good meal inside me and then an early bed. Um, and then tomorrow, tomorrow I try and become an Ironman.
Morning all, it's race day. Half past six in the morning, I'm off down to get some breakfast. Luckily the hotel have opened up their breakfast room early for us. Slept okay, I woke up about two and then was awake for a couple of hours just running things through in my head. Um, but it's the day, race day is here. There's no turning back now. Um, I've got a plan I think in my head, certainly for the swim. I'm just gonna go in and um, just do some breaststroke to start with just to get my confidence and just to get calm. And then as the distance goes in, I'll, I'll start doing some crawl and just see how we get on from there. But, um, and then from there on, I'm, I'm just looking forward to it once I've got the swim out of the way. And it's this cutoff time, it's just playing in my head, doing my head in. Um, anyway, the elevator's here. Just wanna get some breakfast. I've got my Sherpa carrying all my bags for me. <laughs> you all right, Greavesy, this morning? So this is walking down to Ironman Village. There's a little bit more swell in the sea than there was yesterday, but we've still got a little while to go before we're off. How's that for a backdrop? Look at that sunshine coming up. It's gonna be a lovely day today. Well, it's here. All the training, all of the thinking about it seems such a long time ago now that I was sat on a sunbed in Antique <laughs> drinking beer and I went to you should I do a half iron man <laughs> such a great idea. I know. and I'm now like absolutely cacking myself anyway all of the skidoos and all of the safety patrol are all out on the water checking everything I guess which is basically what's causing the swell I just thought I'd say oh do you reckon Oh, okay. Away where there okay, anything. good. That's good. That's good. I don't want swell. But yeah, I didn't manage to eat a huge amount of breakfast. I've had some fruit and stuff, but basically I just feel physically sick, so I don't want to eat too much. But the only thing I've got left to do in that bag there are the water bottles for my bike, a bottle for each transition. I've got some bananas. Um, I've got a couple of gas canisters to put in the back of my bike, um, saddle bag. That's it really, and then we're ready to race. Ooh, T minus one hour. Well, we are on the beach. Graham is here as well. We are both, I'm glad to see he's as nervous as I am. He's done three of these at that point, I am tearing up. I'm really, very, very nervous. We've got it, we've got it. The sun's coming up. Fifty hundred meters to go. Yeah, it's going to be immense. And I didn't think you could come on the beach. It's amazing. Look at this sun coming up. Good morning, Headless. Well, this is when I wish I was 63. Once he's got this out of the way, he's going to be buzzing. So, uh, 
stay tuned and uh, see you on the next bit. If you can see, just coming back from his very long ride, um, I'm quite sure he's exhausted. Come on, Peter! One more time, nearly! Come on! Go again! Keep going, baby! Well done! Brilliant! A stream of delight from Peter Green. He's <laughs> Graham. Brilliantly. Come on, Graham. Go, 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 go. And now. <laughs> That was well, nails, mate. That, that was fantastic, though. Yeah. I loved the swim. You didn't, mate. I thought I was going to die. I honestly oh, thought man. I was going to die. There were massive waves. The swim was horrible. The uh, swim was great. The swim, I loved the yeah, swim. You're a swimmer. <laughs> <laughs> bike then, ride was great. The bike was mega, but hot and very, very oh, hilly. Yeah, like, really hard. Oh, and then oh, that last downhill. Oh, oh mate, fantastic. Oh, awesome. Straight down. Oh, that awesome. wasn't there. Uh, and then the, the half marathon is what it is, it's just you have to get through it. Yeah. And it's horrendous. Yeah, I'm glad you're there to run with me on that. Yeah, so, of all the, you know, we actually we ended up running together for a yeah. bit. It was mega, absolutely mega. mega. But Cheers. you get free beer when you do an Ironman. Yeah. <laughs> so, can we go to the bar now, Trace? Uh, today? Yeah. Perhaps? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Great, mate. Great, thanks, Peter. I couldn't, Brilliant. Have, I couldn't have done the bike no. ride without you yesterday. No, it's fantastic. That, that recce was, Great to that recce you, was so good. Yeah. And my name's down here somewhere, and your name's up there somewhere. Yeah, my name's uh, And we are Iron Men. Come on. Seven hours, 45 minutes, and 19 seconds. Fantastic. Good morning, everybody. It is now the next day, and I've had time to rest and reflect on what was a pretty epic day. I thought I'd wander out to the start. That is the start box. That's where I entered the water yesterday. If only the water was this calm yesterday. But I want to finish this video. It's a bit of a gun and run video, but I wanted to take you along behind the scenes to kind of maybe give you a view into my mindset during what was a very difficult and challenging but awesome day. I want to start by saying a massive thank you to everybody who's reached out with messages. My phone was away from me yesterday, which is very unusual for me, but it was just full of lovely messages from everybody and I can't thank you enough. I can't, I've tried to give everybody at least a thumbs up or a heart or respond. It's just been overwhelming. When I entered the Ironman last year, I turned 50. I wanted to do something to push myself both mentally and physically to get myself in shape and to maybe in the process through my social media platforms maybe inspire people to just do couch to 5k get on a bike go for a swim whatever it might be none of us are getting any younger and for me i just want to be the fittest and the healthiest in both body and mind that i can be and that's why i decided to enter the ironman i trained hard i thought i was ready but I have to say, if anybody is thinking of doing one, then absolutely do it. But it is a challenge that you will never, ever understand until you actually try and do it. It was an epic day yesterday. The swim I mentioned before in my post-race, 
I honestly thought I was going to drown. There were about 10 people bought in by jet skis because the conditions were so horrible. The bike ride was, for me, I love my hills and my descents. It was an amazing bike ride, but it was 28 degrees Celsius, very, very hot. I think I ate 12 gels yesterday and drank 10 750 ml bottles of water. I just couldn't get enough nutrients and enough hydration into me. It was amazing, amazing. And then the run up and down the beach, loads of support, but that was just a case of getting through it. By then I had a really sore back and I kept having to stop and stretch my back out. I could feel twinges of cramp coming into my legs and I didn't want to have a full on cramp attack because then I was worried then that would be it. So I'd stop and walk and just run, walk it off a little bit and then start running again. But yeah, at the end of that though, I got this, my medal. And I'm so proud of this. It really is going to be one of those things that I treasure for the rest of my days. In the process though, I've been trying to raise some money for the Born Free Foundation. And first off, I have to say thank you for all the support. As I record this, I'm about 15 pounds away from raising £4,000 for the Born Free Foundation. I set myself a target of £5,000. I never thought I'd get anywhere near that. But if we could, if we could stretch towards that £5,000, it would be unbelievable. I'll put a link to my Just Giving page in a pinned uh, comment and in the description. If you've got, it doesn't have to be lots of money, you know, just a five or a ten or whatever you could spare to just eat that up. They do some amazing work. But anyone who has sponsored me and supported me, from my heart, I thank you so, so much. It's meant all of my efforts yesterday, well, they were just awesome. I want to say a big thank you to Graham, who we uh, a, a peddler who lives very, very near here, reached out to me and said, I'm doing it too. I'll see you on the beach. We arranged to meet. We went for a recce drive. That saved my bike because I knew what was coming. And then we met up on the run and ran together for a bit. It was just fantastic. So thank you, Graham, for that. And then finally, my biggest supporter of them all, Tracy. I love you very much and I couldn't have done yesterday without you. You were just awesome yesterday. The love and support you've given me over the last few months, well, actually the last 24 years, has just been unbelievable and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. But anyway, I'm going to enjoy two or three days here in Marbella before we have to go home. The sun is out and the beer is cold. But from Porto Banus Beach, thank you for that one. <laughs> More automotive content coming soon, but for now, if you enjoyed that, give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petroped for plenty more content to come. And I'll see you on the next film, guys, but you take care. Swim, bike, and run safe. I'm an Iron Man. Rawr!